Yes, and as you can still see around me, this ground is very, very dry from that intense heat we've seen. And check this out. This vegetation over here is extremely brittle. It would not take much for this vegetation and the ground around me to catch fire. But firefighters, just like you and I, could not help but smile when they walked outside this morning. Bring it down, bring it down. It just feels so good. I, I know I stood out in it for a few minutes, don't judge me, and it just felt good. Crews have been battling fire after fire round the clock, finally feeling a little relief with this rain. Uh, we responded so far to 320 grass fires in the month of July alone, and that's a lot even by our standards. Uh, looking back all the way to, to 2010, we haven't had a, a July as busy as this July has been. But they say this relief is expected to only be short term for the rest of summer. If we return to those triple digit temperatures, the vegetation will return to fire prone conditions. And now with the rain, firefighters will fight fires in muddy conditions. They're out in the middle of sometimes fields. Our firefighters are trying to cut gates and fences and cross creeks and ravines. And it's just a very difficult thing to access grass fires to begin with a lot of times. So having it muddy underneath could complicate that a little bit. Morning hours Friday at least were grass fire free, not to mention the break from the intense heat. But we are definitely not in the clear yet. The components that you're looking for to have one is you need, first of all, dry or dormant vegetation. And then, of course, you need the lower humidity also is a, is a huge factor. And then a windy day, which we have almost every day here in Oklahoma. At that point, the only thing you're missing is a spark. And they say we should feel very confident as we're going into this weekend. But as we are getting into the month of August, we can still see some of those really hot temperatures come back. And they say we still need to be cautious more than ever for those fire prone areas. Live in Oklahoma City, Alexandria Williams, KOCO 5 News.